everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a quick and painless review on the new Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powders. There's three of them here, and these are part of the uh, Wet n Wild Limited Edition Spring Collection. I love Wet n Wild Spring Collections. They are by far my favorite. This year, I feel like it wasn't as good as last year's. I was so obsessed with the eyeshadow palettes last year, and the nail polishes were gorgeous. This year, Wet n Wild did come out with very similar nail polishes, which doesn't bother me. I actually really like the color, so I don't mind that they're very similar to last year's. This year, they came out with these powders. They came out with um, some of the nail polishes, and then also some a couple of the eyeshadow trios, which I when I was at Walmart, Walgreens, I looked at them and I was like, okay, these look so chunky and powdery. I was like, no, I'm going to pass. And plus the colors weren't that great in my opinion. They came out with um, three liners, which I did end up getting one. I got the blue one, which looks so cool. I'm so excited to try that. And then I think that's pretty much it. So um, this year's was okay. I liked last year's better, but um, I'm very excited to review these uh, geometric highlighting powders. So they retail for $4.99. I went to Walgreens and I picked all of them up. Um, I love the packaging guys. I love when Wet n Wild comes out with their white packaging. I think it looks so pretty. It's so sleek and clean. Um, and yeah, it's just like very simple, kind of like their blush packaging. So it's nothing too crazy. So each highlighting powder comes with a little brush right here. I'm not a huge fan of the brushes. Um, it's very cheap in my opinion, but we do have to think about the people that aren't makeup junkies who don't have like a huge makeup collection. For the girls who just need a couple things um, and they throw things in their bag and then they want to like do their makeup really quickly in the car, like I feel like people, some people would appreciate the brush. So I don't know. For me, not a huge fan, but you know, we got to think about the other people here. As far as the actual like design of the powder, I think it's so cool. I, I don't see or I haven't seen anything like this. So I think it's super cool. I feel like Wet n Wild did really, really well and uh, they were really creative with the packaging and yeah that's pretty much it as far as the packaging goes. I'm gonna go through all three shades and then I'll get into the quality of the actual powder. Uh, the first one is called Where the Dreamers Go and this has a ton of different colors in here. It has a light purple, a light blue, a kind of like a, a beigey champagne and then a very light cream color and I actually like this color a lot. It's a very like light frosty pink. It's right here on my hand but of course I'm gonna have swatches uh, going in and out. Oh, there's something on my face. But yeah, this is the lightest one out of the bunch. It's great for people with fair skin, and I feel like it's the frostiest, like pearliest highlighter out of the three. So this is very nice if you have fair skin. And then the second one, this is more of the goldeny, yellowy highlight. This is called Sun Ceremony. It is so pretty. Those of you who have very tan skin, I feel like would love this. It has yellows, a light beige, very goldeny colors. This is awesome. And the last shade is called Desert Explorations, and this one is more on the warmer pink side. It's still very light, but it does have a little bit more of like a warmer tone pink. It's not as like bright as this first one where the dreamers go. It's a little bit darker. I kind of feel if you have fair skin, this might show up a little bit on the cheeks. I'm sorry about my phone, um, but it's still really, really pretty. I feel like Wet n Wild covered all the colors. You have the light one, you have the golden one, and then you have like like the pinky one. So as far as the actual quality of the powders go, you guys have to remember that they are $4.99 each, they're five bucks. You're not gonna get a Becca's Champagne Pop. You're not gonna get a Lori Geller's Gilded Honey. Um, these are a little bit powdery than I had expected, but that's okay. I don't, I don't, you know, it's not a huge deal for me. Um, they are like a, they're very, they have a very light coverage. They're not super pigmented, but you can definitely build them up to like a medium, not coverage, I don't want to say coverage, just like a medium shade. Um, and these give more of a shine. They're not, like I said, they're not super pigmented. So I'm actually going to compare like Becca's Champagne Pop with one of these here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys are actually going to be able to see, but I will um, throw in some clips. Becca's Champagne Pop is here, and then Wet n Wild's Geometric Highlighting Powder and Sun Ceremony is here on the bottom. And I'm not comparing it color-wise, it's, it's more for pigmentation. The Becca Champagne Pop is very pigmented and gives like a very like crispy glow. While Wet n Wild is just more of like a muted shine, it does have some color and you can build it up, but it's you're not going to get that crazy highlight that we're all doing nowadays. 
Almost forgot to mention the lasting power. For me, I don't think these last my full eight hour day. I think by the fifth, sixth hour, they're like just totally gone because I'll get home and I'll actually be in the car driving home and I'm like, where's where's my highlighter? I swear I put something on, but I don't think it lasts too, too long. I think one of the claims was um, like long lasting, but I don't think they last very long, in my opinion. It could just be my skin, but um, if you guys have tried them, let me know how long they last on you. For me, it was like five, six hours. So yeah, these highlighters are more just for like a natural, really pretty glow. Of course, you can get a good amount of highlight on, but it's more of a shine. It's not so much of like a crazy pigmented like gold shade on your face. I really enjoy these. I like to wear these to work because I don't want to go highlighter crazy at work. I just put a little bit on and it just brightens up my face. It makes me glow. I, I have to say I really do like these, but for those of you who want that intense, crazy highlighter, like these are not going to be for you. Like I said, you can definitely build them up and get a really pretty, like frosty, pearly finish, but it's not going to be anything crazy. So I do really enjoy these a lot. I think um, for those of you who like that everyday natural glow. I think you guys will really like them. I kind of wish that Wet n Wild would put these part of their permanent collection. I feel like a lot of people would like them. But yeah, these are very pretty. Love the packaging. I do like the quality. Little bit powdery, but the colors are really pretty and it's good for like an everyday natural glow. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the video down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!